Uh, man, I always suspected this fucking scenario here. I, I, I'm aware that I'm afraid for like certain crimes and shit. You know, like like some kid named Tyler being killed. I mean, I didn't even know that kid was killed. You know, I, I, I don't know, but I, I know who fucking done it. I, I would say his name is Jackie and all. He's like a black guy, but he's actually like super super Chinese and shit, and, and some mental spec type of thing and all, right? And I know. What people may encourage them to fucking do these things, you know? Like, like, like stupid grown men encouraging some stupid ass fucking kid to fucking pull the trigger to feel like a, a grown ass man type of thing, you know? Like, you know, like killing somebody makes you a man, Jackie. You know, like, like Ronald McDonald and, 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 and some fucking, uh, like, like, like James dude and all, right? But, but, but I, I, it's just like, and Stanley, you cannot forget Stanley. Not, not my scout leader Stanley, but an agent named Stanley, who's used to be Ronald's bestest friend, I'm sure. So let me, let me think. Like I say, if I apply for like the military, like the Navy or Army, to the point where like, I'm still, it's like a still pending investigation and all and whatnot. You know, like, like some murdered kid named Tyler and whatnot thinks to some fucking Chinese faggot named Jackie. Not Jackie Chan, an actor, but to some fucking kid who's, who's black or a teenager who's like probably now a young adult doing some stupid fucking action long ago. Using your fucking forensics or hair, nails, belongings, items like Pokemon cards or video games, whatever, to get away with this shit. It's like somebody like, like this, a character named Ronald or Morgan Freeman, like, encouraged him to fucking do this shit, right? Like Ronald Taylor. And carrot some fucking dumbass kid. I like, say like Ronald Taylor is probably like a, a fucking boss somehow, a hypocritical crime boss who also works for like fucking federal agencies on the side as a mercenary or or dude who provides some type of intel to them or secret information in exchange for like special treatment just in case he gets locked up for like bank robberies or, or fucking murdering people or some shit, right? Like like he's the only one that has this fucking ability. Thus he could do more because he knows he's gonna get away with it. Just annoying fucking federal agents and and and. And CIA agents and NSA agents and FBI agents and all that sort of fucking shit. To the point where you can like run his mob. You know? Whatever. Like, I can get away with anything. Guys, you can control people with part of this stupid fucking thing. Like, like Jackie to fucking do something stupid against other people's identities like mine so that I get in trouble for something Jackie didn't done, which has been encouraged by Ronald. Instead of fucking Jackie and all, you know? Because, like, put it this way Ronald's using his, like, criminal side, criminology side. It's encouraging, like, a stupid fucking criminal fool who's like a fucking child then killing another child to, to frame another fucking child as to fucking pulling the trigger, but it, it wasn't his child, you know? Like, it wasn't me, it was obviously fucking Jackie in frame. To, 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 like, uh... What? Like, like, get me in trouble for something in and Alright, this is where Ronald's utilizing his... It's dual factions here. Like, he's both a fucking crime boss and a fucking federal agent all at once. He's like a fucking super hypocrite, you know? Like, other people don't understand, like, how the fuck people can get away with shit regarding this guy. But, 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 you know, he's like that dude from Smoking Aces. You know, he's giving people up to the, those peoples or some shit. You know, he's that fucking buddy Hitler dude. Right? That's Ronald. <laughs> Alright, you know, he's like a super hypocrite. He knows he can get away with anything. That's why he does what the fuck he wants and all. Because he, he knows he, his, his fucking federal agent friends are going to give him some special treatment. You know, like somebody robs a bank. Like, anyone else doing that would easily get arrested or imprisoned or charged or in felony charges and that. But if this guy gets, like, like arrested just out of a fucking investigation or some shit and all, right? He'll be released. <laughs> not charged with anything. Probably not even fucking, like, like prosecuted about this shit, right? And I, I, that doesn't seem suspicious what's so fucking ever to anybody. But apparently this guy is out being a gangster again doing what the fuck he wants to do, right? I, I said some guy wants to shoot a senator in fucking Arizona. You know, to pretend like some person he's from there when he's actually from like the Midwest or Detroit and, and, and Pittsburgh and all this other fucking shit. And his name is supposed to be Justin and not fucking Khalil or like whatever fucking crap some Ronald McDonald guys to make up. Right? Let's say he knows he's gonna get away with this. This is fucking uh, federal agency's friends gonna ignore him, cause like he provides like 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 uh, favors for them, like like mercenary work or something. Cause like you know like it, 
They probably want to hire some guy outside of their fucking agency to do like some of their dirty works and shit. And, and, and like some information for them and all, like intel. Or, or maybe like, like he exchanged certain types of information in, in regards of like getting more and more special treatments on his behalf, right? Like he gets like a, a lighter treatment or, or, or a fucking sentence even something. You know? Or it being completely ignored or some shit, right? Like, I don't know. That's just my theory, like, how, how some hypocritical guy can survive any shit. And I don't know how the fuck somebody can survive something like that, you know. Like, you know, like, like people who are in the mob and then, like, work for the fucking feds usually don't survive that much, man. It's like the fucking feds made this guy, like, his persona or something, of, of the mob life, you know. It's like, so he can function well in here, you know. Like, I, 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 he had to either start, establish something with the mob, uh, the feds first. You didn't like transcend into this fucking mob thing. I'm thinking. I don't know. Maybe that's just deep cover shit. Cause I, I don't I don't get that, man. Like, how can you work for the mob, be a boss or a mafia soul, and then you fucking work for federal agents all at once, and then try and get other fucking people in trouble for shit you're responsible for, or shit you're in, you're in carriage. You know, like some some fucking uh, Tyler Durden kid getting like fucking sniped. By Jack the fucking Ripper or something, right? <laughs> He's like, I don't get it. I really don't. Like, wait, wait. James ends up dead before Ronald. Hmm. Like, I say, like, James gets locked up for something completely fucking stupid. Like, like a fucking, uh, running a yellow light or something, right? <laughs> but Ronald gets locked up under suspicions of fucking robbing a bank and then fucking released. I'm like, whoa. Like, fucking traffic violation versus a fucking bank. I'm like, which which seems more severe, man? Right? <laughs> you know, it, it's like I'm getting followed over fucking fingernails and, and hair cuticles that could have been left at a scene by someone else. The moment I'm, like, trying to enlist in the fucking military or army or navy, if this guy gets locked up under suspicions of, like, robbing a fucking bank in an armored truck or some shit, and then fucking release... Without no one else wondering how this is fucking possible, no. and then he brags openly about like working for federal agents, and also fucking brags about being like the the don of all bosses and shit. Like he's better than every fucking guy there is somehow, right? Yeah, yeah, he's better than Jay Z or or John Z or some shit. <laughs> he's better than James Brown and John Z combined. Hey, everybody sucks in credit this guy. You know, he's Ron Artis. He's, he's better than Shaq and Colby and all this other fucking shit. <laughs> Everyone else is lame. He's a straight up thug who's also a cop. Yeah, I mean, this guy is he's not hypocritical with so fucking ever and all, you know? You know, if I want to rob a bank, I need to be friends with, like, federal agents first. Like, like maybe do a little favor for them and all. Like, if they need somebody who wants to be killed or brought in or tortured or interrogated, and then like some some information on this fucking thing here and that thing there, maybe that it can happen on my behalf. Like I never done shit like that because I'm in, I'm uninvolved in any fucking thing at all. You know, I'm just trying to state my innocence of how like you have stupid people who are always fucking up some guy's life and all behind the scenes and shit, right? You know, encouraging some other fucking idiot to do something stupid, so that you know they can use their other sides to like like do this shit again to I don't know. This shit is stupid, man. All right, all right let me just clear my head. Like, this guy is a fucking mafioso and a fucking special agent all at once. Like, he commits crimes and pin it on someone else, then uses special agent side to prosecute you and all for something he didn't fucking do. I, mean, I think I said something like that before. Like, what if a cop try and frame you for some crime they didn't fucking did, man? To get you and, and arrest you for something they've done. You know, he's like that, that Mexican imposter dude. Or, or some guy is forging, like, uh, uh, false identities and shit. And in smoking aces, meets the other FBI agent who's questioning his like integrity or something. You know, like how long have you been here? And you're with Nomad, or are you with the Feds? You know, where is your fucking fingerprints? I don't know. What the fuck? I don't get it, man. Are you making shit up, Ronald? It's Detroit in Mexico. No. <laughs> Or is Pittsburgh in Mexico? I don't know. Where is Justin from, Ronald? Hey, even if Justin is biracial and half Hispanic and half black or something, that doesn't mean he's Mexican or some shit, Ronald. Right? But I don't know. Maybe you're trying to get Justin deported using your legal federal powers 
So that you can like bother him if if he's like at some place he's not supposed to be, or maybe some other dude, like like exactly like Ronald, but not quite like him, he's trying to get him sent to Africa, which is definitely far off from where the hell Justin is from, or what the hell Justin is, to to do the same fucking shit there as well. And right? I don't know, or maybe Ronald wants to get Justin re- arrested for some shit he's completely responsible for. Like Justin doesn't know who the fuck Sanchez is, Ronald. Like, who the fuck is Sanchez? Never met that fucking guy. Maybe he was a cop. Maybe he was Ronald's partner, and, and Ronald and Stanley originally, like, off them or some shit. You know, like, like Tyler. And, and then, like, uh, they use some guy's hair strands or cuticles and nails to plant at the fucking scene and make like he was there. But since this guy that they frame isn't a cop or thug, it's, it's their fucking federal word over his. You know, since Ronald's a special agent... And the mafioso and all them fucking one, you know, this, this hypocritical mixture and shit. Whereas all the other mafiosos have been pin, pinched up and, and knocked off, except for him. And then no one's wondering, like, how the fuck some guy can get off, like, fucking bank robbery charges and shit, right? <laughs> you know, but, but like, somebody, somebody like James gets shoved over and pushed. You know, and Chuck Norris goes, like, extremely gangster and all, right? Like, like he goes hard in the paint and shit. You know, he goes to Chicago and... Show us the fucking guy who's boss there and shit. Cause he also works for Ronald McDonald. Who encourages people like Chuck Norris and, and Jackie Chan to fucking do shit and all, right? Like Morgan Freeman is a gangster. Who's also a cop. Who knows Nelson Mandela. <laughs> I, 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 he's gonna be hypocritical. He's gonna accuse of being from like South Africa and Zimbabwe and then Nigeria and Ghana and fucking Zaire and Congo and Madagascar and Rwanda and and, and, and some other fucking pli- like, pl- place like Tanzania or some shit. Taekwondo or some crap. And then Mexico at the same time. Like, how can you be born in these different African countries that are like far apart from one another over there? And don't even have fucking like uh, intercontinental highway structures. It's like they're divided by jungles and jungles and, and miles of fucking jungles and shit. Hundreds of miles of fucking jungles each, meaning you have to like travel within like weeks just to get from one spot in Africa to another in regards to like traveling to different countries and especially Madagascar that's the furthest fucking African country there is you know I mean like, like you know it's, it's not like Africa is like America whereas you can like go from Detroit and Chicago and Pittsburgh and to fucking Maryland like in a, like a matter of hours and all, you know versus weeks at a legend Africa to the point that Ronald hypothetically contradict himself that's the stating you're like from Mexico or born in Mexico or something, right? And then that you're from Brazil or Cuba, Dominican Republic, Haiti, where else? You know what I mean? Like, like you're from all these other random fucking locations other than America, right? I don't know. Like, like man, this guy is so fucking hypocritical. This is, is, is as hypocritical as this guy is like a fucking... Like, a dude who's like a thug, and then like a fucking special agent all in one type of shit, right? Like, his special agent side helps him get away with, like, being a thug. And his thug side is, like, protected by the sense of him being a special agent, you know? Right? I don't know. It's special agent Morgan Freeman. And you can do whatever you want, you know it. Because, like, you can use either hypothetical sides to get away with shit, right? I Meaning he has no limits. You can do what the fuck he wants. If you want to frame a guy of some fucking kid named Tyler being killed by encouraging another fucking retarded dude to do this shit, it can, ha- it can happen. And then, like, the moment some guy wants to enlist in the military, like the army or navy or some shit, like, you, you draw the attention of fucking police officers for making like they're investigating you over some fucking nail, poly- uh, nail particles and shit, right? <laughs> Nails. Like, wait, some guy gets to rob a fucking bank, and I'm about to get locked up for something I didn't do over a fucking pieces of fucking nail fell out of the scene. That, I, I could have thrown away, and that some other fucking douchebag could have picked up from out of a dumpster or a trash can or something, right? I don't know. Right. I mean, uh, wow. Shit. Ah, oh, man. I wish I had that FBI special powers, too, man. But I don't. Like, I'm currently a guy who is not involved in any fucking thing. Right? I don't know. But Ronald, who's better than every fucking guy on the planet, because like, he can do more than anyone else and shit. He's like far more gangster than, than John John and fucking uh, uh, James Bond and shit. 
Cause like those dudes are like no federal agents or anything. Like Ronald does. Like he, he's better than those dudes, <laughs> as you'd say. Like I'm the best of it. Like of course, cause like you, you do what the fuck you want to do. How do you want to do it? No one is gonna get away with it and shit, right? Yeah, it's like, and this guy wants to, wants to make like he did me a favor by like kidnapping me or some crap. If if he would, like we getting away with that shit because he's a federal agent from from like Detroit or some place, like like from from like a life that like, could be like more comfortable and all. If I had like a rich father, like you know, like like Jim Carrey is like a no, I don't want to use him as an example. Like Jim Bean is a rich man. Like if that dude would have like would have been your father and all, you know, that would have been awesome. But I'd like, say like Ronald uses his special agent powers to like make like he's your father when I mean, he's not, right? Like it's actually Jim Beam, I mean. You know, I, I I think I look more like him than Ronald. And if some dude looks like Ronald, then it means you're like we're the same identical clone model. It's like I look like Will Smith or uh or Marlon Wayans and, and we're not even fucking related, I'm sure, you know? <laughs> You know, we like the same looking clones. They're like bigger clones of me or something. I don't think I look like Will Smith. Or I don't know. I, mean, I say I look like a darker version of Bruno Mars. You know, that doesn't mean I'm related to that guy and all, right? I don't know. Or, hey, I look like Michael Jackson when he was black. Does that mean he's my father? No. So I guess Ronald isn't my dad. If, if we look alike. Maybe my actual dad is like, uh... Uh, Jim Black, right? Jimmy Neutron. Jimmy Johns. I don't know, man. I'm like, I don't get this fucking shit. I, I don't understand this guy. I, I, I I'm lost. <laughs> I'm like, wait, wait. How come this guy is saying he's like a fucking cop? And then like the boss of all bosses at the same fucking time. You know, like, like Cameron. I, I, like Cameron is fucking Scarface, but then Cameron is like fucking uh, special agent uh, whatever and shit. You know, like I don't, I don't understand that. And Cameron makes like everybody else is stitching on him. Yeah, he's like a fucking federal agent or a special agent and shit. Whereas, like, like he's in like some type of position of like uh, doing the same or something, right? I don't get, I don't get it. It's like Cameron's a hypocritical hypocrite. Who's this? No. This isn't my phone. Here! Call. Aunt Phyllis. You want to talk to her? It's Aunt Phyllis. But seriously, man. Hey, yo, how can you be a cop and a fucking thug all at once? I mean, it's not training day. A King Kong and gosh, shit on me. Like, uh, dude, you know, he's, he's an actual cop more than a thug. He's a road cop. But this guy's like a fucking special agent. And a fucking crime boss, all that watch. And like every other fucking dude is getting pinched off, locked up, prison, killed in prison and shit. You like you have something to do with it. Whereas, whereas this guy like escapes and, and invades and then loot all that shit, right? Like Chuck Norris beat the shit out of fucking Kim Jong il as instructed by Ronald. Or is it Kim Jim il I don't know. Because Ronald is bad, you know. No, no, Ronald and Kim Jong Il are fucking homies, I think. And tight. <laughs> like, you know, they're, they're wrong. They're so wrongery and shit, man. I don't know. But I'm like, hey, man, that guy is so fucking special and shit with this federal special treatment. You could fucking have to be friends with that guy and all if you could, right? Like, I, I can do whatever I want, because I work for the CIA on the side, and they just let me do what the fuck I want to do. Hell, I could know Kim Jong-il if I wanted to, nigga, and sell fucking nuclear arms to them on the, on the low or some crap. It's like, I steal shit. 
Like, what if that dude stole, like, schematics uh, for, like, secret fucking shit here to China, you know, <laughs> and sold it to them? You know, I don't know. I don't think he has that ability. I don't think he can completely get away with the fuck he wants to. But maybe he can. A uh, dude is like, like, uh, like, a fake ass god 2.3 and shit, right? Like, like he's like one of the uh, uh, one of the ten horsemen or some shit, <laughs> but the most hypocritical. Like you are so oxymoronic, man. You're so ironical. You're you're like a, a fucking irony. Like, like, like you know, hip, hypocrisy, hip, hypocrisy, and, and equals ironic. You know, like, like it's ironic to do gets to be like both a fucking criminal figure and a fucking law enforcer all in one. Like, that mixture usually is, like, unstable and volatile. Like, like, the fucking mob hates fucking feds. But uh, this guy is, like, a perfect blend somehow. Like, whoa. Like, how the fuck you do that, yo? I don't know. Like, yo, what the fuck, man? I'ma get locked up over someone else's fucking crimes. The moment I'm trying to enlist in the fucking Navy or some sh not the Navy, Army. I when you notice cops are following you or something or looking at you. Like, you're going down, buddy. But a fucking douchebag can rob a fucking bank. And they fucking know it. They know he fucking dead in the shit. They know what the fuck he sounds like. Put your fucking hands up and shit and all this other fucking crap. But it's alright. They can even arrest this guy in the suspicion of robbing a bank. Long ago. And then they fucking let him go, whereas other fucking people are killed off who are exactly like this fucking guy, but not quite exactly like this guy, because they're not fucking federal agents, or special agents, or fucking friends of, like, the fucking federal government. Like, 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 like knowing, uh, agents in the CIA, or NSA, or, or fucking FBI agents and shit. You know? Like, they're not having war meetings with fucking special agents who want some, uh, sideline mercenary work done, to the point where they, like, grant some guy some type of immunity or amnesty of the only the fuck he wants to do and all, right? Like, special treatment. I will make sure the judge don't ask you these questions, Ronald, if you ever get prosecuted for anything, okay? We're friends, man. You're a grown ass, man. It's all right. You could get away with the fuck you wanted. Other criminals get killed or locked up. A guy can get imprisoned over a stupid traffic violation and all, and, and likely killed for some stupid ass reason and shit. But you, Ronald, you're gonna get away with it. Cause you're a fucking FBI, buddy. Right. Like, we're gonna make Smoking Aces 3 for you, okay? Like, like, how the fuck can this guy be like a fucking mafia so, and then like a special agent all that one? Alright, does anyone else realize this? Or, or is it just me and all? Or, or, I don't know. Maybe other people are fucking stupid and shit, like Jackie. Like, he's a made nigger, Jackie, by the fucking FBI. They made him. He does favors for them in order to become a made nigger, is what the fuck I'm thinking. So that, like, if he, in order to be, like, doing favors for them and all. <laughs> like, like, what else? Like, they, they make sure he gets made treatment and shit as to avoiding the law by any means. So he's not prosecuted for any goddamn thing, whereas other people exactly like him, as of being made Negroes, are. In fact, they're pushed over in some fucking prison cell and shit. Like, nigga, I can push Kim Jong Il all over. Like, are you sure? So I think he's sinking boats and shit over there in fucking Korea, man. <laughs> are you sure it was John John and Chucky? You know, not that I fucking care. It's none of my fucking business. Did, uh, did Chuck Morgan do this or what? He's not. He's under instruction of of the, uh, the boss of all bosses apparently, named Ronald McDonald, right? <laughs> like I don't understand this guy, man. I like, I'm about to get locked up for something he instructed other niggers to do, and that's framing me for stuff, right? Like, you're going to you're going to jail, Brandon. Cause you had Pokemon cards you found on Tyler. Cause Jackie left him there after he, Ronald and whoever else told him to fucking kill Tyler. It's like he wants to be a part of Ronald's mob because Ronald's a made Negro via the FBI. Because <laughs> like he does stuff for them. 
and then, like, 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 I don't know, like, they, they don't want to kill people and shit, so, like, you know, why not hire some dude to do it, and then get some special treatment if you get in trouble. Like, if you ever get in trouble, don't you worry, since you're affiliated with us, we can, like, help you get away with it. Get locked up for something, like, bank robberies, it's alright. <laughs> Like, like, you won't be fucking tried or prosecuted or anything. You're gonna be released. No questions asked. It's like fucking. Like, I don't want to use magic in this sense. This is not magic, man. It's just bullshit. It's amazing, right? But it's a fucking other guy. Just, just like, like, just driving home from wherever the fuck he's from, and skipping the yellow light. So he's gonna get fucking tossed in prison and and, and beat. Beating up like Rodney King or some shit and then killed. <laughs> and, and nobody's looking at Ronald. Man, he's just like ignoring the shit out of that guy, right? Like, he, he's Uncle Joe from The Wire, man. Like, why did that guy order the other dude to kill you, Ronald? I mean, Uncle. Uh, that, that, that Uncle proposition dude, and all, right? It's like, you know, I don't, I don't understand. Maybe they got fed up or something, right? Like everybody else is getting killed except for you, dude. And you did do the most, apparently. He's better than Jay Z. That should be a like, like Cameron is a better rapper than Jay Z and all. He has more money, you know, as, as well as uh, the rapper James or something, who also had more money than Cameron, like Jay Z. But apparently, Cameron is better than everybody. He's the boss of all of them and shit. You know, it's the allure, Ronald. Like, like, uh, John D does the most, right? But apparently it's, it's Cameron who does the most. You know, he's, he's not a hypocritical fraud or imposter or some shit. He's trying to do his best to survive impossible odds somehow. <laughs> you know, it's, it's okay. It's alright, we don't give a... Wait, I got my phone. I don't care. Alright, I have your phone here. I make... I, I, yeah, I'm doing a journal entry about how hypocritical certain people are. No... Yes, it isn't about anyone in this house. Uh, yeah, it keeps going off. I don't know why. Like, the bills are paid, but they keep cutting off my internet. Maybe it's right over this special fucking CIA abilities and shit. Everybody else is getting pinched off except for this fucking nigga and shit, right? I mean, make like I'm Common's character from Smoking Aces, but I don't, I don't murder people or do anything. Like, try and give us up to them people, so I don't want to drink this right now. No homo. No sign language of anything, man. Like, niggas work up in the people's cars. Fucking fraud. <laughs> Alright, Ronald's from Chicago. Alright, somebody's wondering why I went to Chicago. I thought I had rich relatives up there. Who isn't Ronald? Like, James lives in Chicago? James Sears. Because, like, I met a person with that last name. It's like they hinted me to go there. Like, oh shit, if I'm related to that place, I should be up there and shit, right? I should be up in Chicago, man, where all the rich people are, who I'm related to and shit. I should be knowing them so I can get me a nice loft there on, like, Water Street. <laughs> I don't feel like dealing with some fucking guy. Hey, I want to get to know James better. Ah, oh, shit, he's dead now. I think it's a fucking Ronald McDonald, Chuck Norris fag and shit, right? Thank you, man. Wow, now I'm left here debating why this fucking hypocrite is still alive. If he's like a fucking dude affiliated with mob and fucking federal agents all at once. Like, how the fuck you survive shit like that, dude? It's either one or the other. You either with the fucking feds or the mob. Like, right? how the fuck you survive being a part of both at the same time simultaneously? You know, like using them to your advantage to get away with shit. <laughs> I, of course, you can get away with bank robberies if the fucking federal government allows you to. And then this guy can complain about the fucking feds, like like doing doing stuff with the banks and shit, like like making a fucking lame as uh, anti-establishment video. Thinking atheist. Making like your name is suddenly Cal, which is a contradiction to his Mexican claim, right? Like it's Justin. Let the banks be stealing our money, Cal. Or should you be stealing money from the bank? So, uh, what the fuck does that mean? 
<laughs> it means you're stealing people's money that, that, that he put in the fucking bank. So like, you're no better than the fucking banks. That people and people have a choice whether or not they want to use banks. So you know, if people want to voluntarily pay banks to take their money or, or, or to, like use interest on their money, then so fucking be it. But, but how does give, how does that give a hypocrite the right to fucking steal other people's money or in the banks? He didn't make like he did nothing wrong and shit. It's, it's just hypocritical crap. You know? I think I'll also put in like the hypocritical shit that. Of like like him pretending to be some guy's father in the video game, you know? like he, he plugged that in there as as was real, you know. He, he used the CIA powers, like how some agent wants to like produce Men in Black to make like he's a good guy and all, right? I mean, it's still a fun, cool movie to watch. I don't give a fuck about the sign language purpose of, of some hypothetical film. It's still entertaining. So gives a shit. Like I still like the game that I play. Some guys. Like, like, false name and identity there. Being to guys' fathers. Like, my father's name is Papa James, man. It's not, not Ronald. Because we look alike, doesn't mean any fucking thing. You know? Like, we could be, like, the same clone lineup or some shit, right? I look like Will Smith, but, like, uh, is he, like, my uh, twin brother or some shit? No. No. I don't think I look like Will Smith. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Hey, Ray Ray looks exactly like me, but in a bigger fucking version, or variant, version, or variant, you know? So, I'm like, if Ray Ray goes out there making, like, kids with a lot of fucking different women and shit, to make, like, they're my kids and all, he'd probably get away with this shit. Or maybe not, if, like, me and Ray Ray's DNA are completely fucking different from that. And Ray Ray has certain features, I mean, I have, even though we may share similar similarities, but he's, like, just a bigger version of me, you know? Because, like... He doesn't eat Ronald's uh, hamburgers and shit, right? And if Ronald makes like he, he does you a favor by giving you shitty hamburgers, like like you're biting the hand that feeds you, like you're ungrateful. But like he also shit and pissing your fucking burgers or some shit, right? Like and a drive through uh, Burger King or McDonald's, you know what I mean? Like how dare you, nigga? I feed you shit. Like yeah, you know, like 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 wondering if your 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 burger from like Burger King is like extra rare or, or tastes funny, like somebody farted in it. It's, it's it, that, that's that's like um yeah, that's it's, it's great. I should be I should appreciate you like that, right? Wow, this guy isn't like a fucking huge snake, even amongst his own kind. It's, it's, he's like an okay guy, and shit, right? All right, and then like I think this dude faked his own fucking death. Like I'm thinking he died. I mean, it's actually fucking James. Right? Like, I, I, wait, James is dead? Damn it, man. I was like, I, even though that guy could have done some fucked up shit to my food, he was like Richard and like Ronald or something, right? I was just about to know that guy now. I could have totally forgot about everything. Like, you know, like, Papa, Uncle Man, James. I don't give a fuck you shit in my food or not, man. Just to stack the money will make me forget all of this shit, so. Yeah, I wouldn't mind being your favorite nephew, son, guy. Yeah, plus you're from Chicago or some shit. I wouldn't mind living in that area. You know, you got nice apartments up there and shit, man, right? Probably buy me a Lincoln MKZ or some shit or a BMW. Yeah, man. Ah, oh, shit, somebody didn't fucking push this Negro in the fucking prison thing because he had like a fucking ticket violation or some shit. <laughs> I locked up over nothing, but I don't care. It's not my fucking business. I, damn it. It's alright. Let's move along. But I'm moving along. You know, I, don't, I, don't, I never get fully met someone. I don't know them that well. It's so okay. But then you know, I, wait, this guy is like one of them is shit. <laughs> and he did something far more far more serious than some hypothetical guy, and he gets away with it. I, yo, how is that possible, man? Like, I don't think somebody's that good to invade or elude the law in any fucking way, man. If, if uh, another guy who's exactly like him in regards to, like, whatever, gets fucking locked up and killed for some stupid fucking shit, then how the fuck this guy survive? And then, like, how, how can this guy combine these two different opposing lifestyles together and still fucking survive and all? You know what I mean? I don't get it.
You know, you can't be in a mob and then work for the fucking Fed. Like, like we all know how that fucking ends up and shit. Like, like some dude in a mob working for the Fed equals you can either get fucked up by the mob because I hear him tell her shit like that. Apparently, I think. Or like the federal agents, like they're gonna think like you're rogue or corrupt, and they're gonna like neutralize you or something, right? Like you know, like like they they don't want to be compromised and shit. <laughs> I, I don't get it. I, I forgot what the fuck I was gonna say. Man, this shit is so fucking overwhelming. Like, what the hell, yo? What the? I I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm, I'm just, this is making me retarded right now. Like, how, how, how are you going to be like a fucking mob boss and be a fucking mob boss for also an FBI agent all in one and shit? Like, how, how do you not get killed in this thing? How the fuck does guy survive, man? How? How? How, man? I'm like, this dude orchestrated his own fucking death right there and all. And I'm like, like, how the fuck do you, like, push that fucking button or envelope to make sure it happens? It's like, he's in the way and, like, stupid shit that he fucking done can, like, like fucking bite me along with a lot of other fucking people in the fucking ass and all. Right? And, and like I did nothing to get bit in the ass, but he did it anyway. So I'm like, fuck this guy, right? Like, man, like, you know, other people end up fucking dead and this guy doesn't, and like nobody find that suspicious what the fucking happen. <laughs> I'm like I'm I'm lost. Like, wait, wait, wait. This guy robbed the bank. And I'm about to get locked up over fucking fingernails. Like, whoa. This is my left eye right here. You know? I, let me do my right. There you go. Like, whoa. The bad eye right here, man. Like, what the fuck, man? I don't understand that. It's like, like the hell? I, I don't get it. Like, what the fuck? Like, yo. I, I, I think this is like... What the fuck? I, I, I'm lost, dude. I'm like, yo, my, my, my a dude could have been like my favorite uh, relative and all gets fucking killed. Because like he has a lot of money. And this guy doesn't. And he's like my least favorite relative because he's like a fucking super asshole. Even though the other dude was an asshole, but it's alright. You know, I'd probably like kept my distance, but like be well acquainted with the guy. You know? Nothing gay and weird. Yeah, you have a lot of fucking money, man. How you doing? <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, 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 whatever. I don't know shit. Money, cool. I don't give a fuck. I don't think I already got money out of the UN, so I don't give a crap, right? Like, well. I wonder if I get in trouble if I, like, do this. Like, get some boogers out of my nose, causing the hair in my nose to itch. And, like, throw it in the trash. And, like, somebody picks it up. And leave it at a crime scene. And, and like, a cop happens. is like, 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 I'm across your boogers that you've, like, picked out of your nose to a trash bag. That could have been picked up by the, by Ronald Ronald's cronies and his, uh, hypocritical gangster mob thing. And, like, leave it at a scene. Today, like, if you apply for something. You pay hawked by like some fucking cop. Looks like he's trying to arrest you for some shit Jackie did. That Ronald instructs Jackie to do. Right? I think I'm gonna include, like, what am I including in this video? Uh, Jay Z song called The Lure. I'm gonna look for a creepy ass Cameron song. Like, he got like like tons of weird music, man. I'm, I'm looking for one that's like really, really cool and one that's like, uh, like, like crazy shit. You know, it's called Confessions or Fire. I don't know. It's, it's weird. It's sign language. Like, Cameron is Ron Isley and my, uh, Ronald McDonald and Morgan Freeman and shit, right? And what else am I going to look for? Smoking Aces, the trailer. Yeah. And something else. Like, Ronald Taylor from Mass Effect. But, like, like he's actually not uh, the Jacobs Taylor father. You know, he, he gave this... His, his son, he gave the guy who wants to pretend it's his son, who isn't his son, because, like, his father's actual name is, like, James or something. I like, uh, Jacob's disease by poisoning his food, like, at McDonald's and shit, or Burger King, right? And that's why, like, we name McDonald's after this guy, because, like, he likes fucking up your food, and like, he's Uncle Ben's. You know, Uncle, Uncle Benny, or, or Benny... Carl Benz, whatever, works for this guy, and all right. I, why am I? I'm insinuating a lot of shit here. He's like, like Benny the Rat, like you know, like Michael Jackson made a song for him, Michael Jackie. 
You know, Michael Jack, Michael Tyler Jackie made a song for like Benny the Rat and all. It was like Uncle Ben's. We were like causing car accidents with like, uh, like with, with fucking cars and shit with his, his buddy Carl, <laughs> whose name has car in it. Carl. Carl. Like we, we, we made sure Carl Bent invented a car to signify Benny's name. Like Benny likes cars. Carl likes cars too, and he has a name car in his fucking name. You know? Benny may want to wash fucking cars that committed manslaughter against another human being, which frames a guy who wasn't at the scene for it or some shit. Like how Jackie could have killed Tyler. Like, like, <laughs> use your fucking identity there instead of his to get you in trouble for something he's responsible for. Thus having Michael Jackie singing songs about how bad he is. Right? I don't know. Like, I'm bad! Well, I'm not bad. Mikey Jackie is bad. I, I don't know. Or what else? What else? Mikey Jackie. Mikey Jackie. He's bad. Uh, they like starting something. And... What? Diana is dirty. I don't even know who the fuck Diana is. I think I, I think she's a Mexican or something. Who's like a relative of mine. Like, she's proof that I'm like half Hispanic. Cause like, you know, the other half of me, which is like half James, it's black, and I look mostly black than I am Hispanic. In fact, like, you have two different types of Spanish people. You have Spaniards, who are white Spanish people from Spain, and then Hispanic people are like, are like darker Spanish people, not from Spain, you know? And then you have Hispanic people born here in the United States, where people are half Hispanic born here, right? Like, you got tons of black Hispanic folks. It's possible, I don't know. But I'm half Dirty Diana and half uh, Papa James Brown and all. You know, yeah, yeah, Brandon Bay. You know, you got it on. They producing a guy like me. I don't know. Right? And that chick is a freak. She doesn't care who the fuck she dates. Not that it's a problem that she dated James, but she, she, she probably like date like other people that she shouldn't date. You know? That you should have no interest in your son, you weird bitch. What the fuck is wrong with you? You know, I don't support incest. Like, she's dirty as hell, man. But who gives a fuck? I don't know. I see you got Uncle Ben's rice. We multitask it. We put some dude's name and face on a box. He's a fucking slave. We work on fucking rice plantations. <laughs> Which product lasted this long? With his name on it, plaster it. Alright, multitasking, you're, you're actually making money and then selling something delicious. I, I don't know, I'm not proud of it uh, with this role. This role is meant to interpret stuff, I guess. And, uh, like Benny likes poisoning your food. He likes putting shit in there, you know? Like, like, like he's like, with, he's Benny Jones. But you got some guy, uh, it's like Matthew Morgan or some shit who does the same stuff to your food. Like they're all in charge of it. As well as uh, Jenny Jones, who's like Matthew's girlfriend or boyfriend, I don't know. Like Jenny Mandrake. Or Jenny Holsteps, who likes being in the Midwest. Which is like either Detroit or Chicago. They're like the same fucking areas to me, you know, right? Because like, you can like get from one area to another in like a matter of hours. A few hours, right? On the highway. Whole states is in Chicago, and I don't know. I'm, I'm weird right now, man. I'm just, I'm just trying to like uh, be hypo hypothetically insinuative, of, like throwing out warning signs and hypothetical hints. Like avoid Uncle Ben's. Not the product. The product is great, but the the the, the sign language of, of Benny, dude, like like putting shit in your food. The actual guy who likes like washing blood off a car that had manslaughter on it, or wiping off his friend's fingerprints. And putting your hair there instead, something, right? Who, who also works for uh, Morgan Freeman. Not the actor, but some, some guy who's a hypocrite, you know, right? Who, who likes knowing Nelson Mandela, who probably puts up a front. Like, he looks like a nice dude, but he's probably like a super, like one of the biggest assholes on the face of the earth, that you say, right? Like, are you an asshole? You know what I mean? I might get killed, but I don't give a fuck, so, you know.
Because <laughs> I'm trying to like retire my Android. I'm an Android, like everyone else on Earth is. But my Android has more of a, a 101 effect in, in, in effect, which keeps me alive longer than other people somehow. Despite that I get poisoned or uh, I can like chug down a bunch of fucking pills and not die, but I feel like my heart's gonna stop, but it doesn't. You know, I don't know why. <laughs> Like, I should be having a heart attack, but you know, my heart is beeping rapidly. Even though know, it shouldn't be beeping rapidly, it should be stopping and I should be dying like that. But it does that for 10 hours straight. Like, you're dying for 10 hours and you don't fucking die. <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, man, I got my Android with the 101 thing again. And it's dampened somehow. And they're trying to let me leave. I want to switch roles. Just waste the fucking time. Plus, like, I don't want to get my android in trouble against a fucking the other android called Ronald instructing other fucking retarded androids fucking doing something so that this android signal doesn't get traced. Because I don't want to get traced, right? It's like, the moment, that's what Ronald wants. Yeah, he wants you to get locked up so he can trace your fucking android signal. He's like one of like millions of other fucking people with this hypothetical agenda, right? That's why he's like a cop and a fucking crime, ball, uh, crime boss all at once. Like he's managing your shit on, on, and like getting in trouble in, and then it's trying to actually make sure you get in trouble on the other end, right? I don't know. This is crazy fucking shit here, right? I don't, I don't know. Maybe people don't get it. Like, like, like Uncle Peter's, uh, Saint Paul or something. I don't know. That's why the. How come they never put some guy's name in a, uh, in, a in a book that's been written like thousands of years ago? And then the, the Lord said unto Ronald, You're the biggest fucking hypocrite on the face of the earth. You're a fraud. He's like the snake in the garden of Eden or some shit. You know, like everybody else is getting pissed off and knocked off except for this fucking faggot. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> I, I should have a heads up about this guy. But, but we only made McDonald's without this dude. You know, that, that's it. I don't know, man. He's better than Jay Z. All right, all right. Camera on, Jay Z. Uh, what else? Ronald Taylor. Uh, right, new old with camera on. Ronald Taylor from Mass Effect Two. I'm trying to decide which annotation we use to sign language in this video. Uh, Michael Jackson's bad. Michael Jackson's dirty Diana. Uh, what else? We got the use here. Like, like, we, the people of the future, are from Star Trek, clone people to use our clones as a form of sign language. Like, like if a clone looks like me but has a different name, that means like, like a clone is sign languaging like how some other fucking person with that name, like Jackie. Frame someone who looks like me for something they're responsible for, all right? Yeah. Or maybe we'll actually use some clone's face with their name, like, right next to it. Or maybe we'll use a white version of a black person. Like, that's kind of weird, but it, it's possible. Like, we do it all the time, right? It's strange. Like, an android clone with like, a fucking white face with a black guy. It's kind of weird, but, you know, it's, it, it happens. Like, wait. Let I, I me mean, think of a white version of something. Ah, oh, shit. Come on. Who, who's a white version of who? Like, like, George Clooney is a white version of Lawrence Fishburne. Like, people might not see that, but that's, that's hypothetical, too. Lawrence Fishburne looks like, or exactly like Will Smith. They look like two identical clones. Right? I don't know. But, I mean, like, other people may not get onto this hypothetical concept, because, like, it can go above their hypothetical way of thinking, like, outside of the fucking box. I have no idea. I don't know, like, like, William Shackner looks like an older version of, like, uh, Jude Law, or fucking Marshall Mathers, or Marshall Matthew, or Sarah Marshall Matthews, his name is Eminem, right? Yeah. I don't know, man. Wait. 
And I need to put this whole run re song inside of this fucking video of Kim Jong Il from Team America. <laughs> I'm sure Ron re like, you know. I don't know, man. I just don't fucking understand this guy. It's just smoking an Aces trailer. Like, it's like, how the fuck do you work for Mob and then you work for fucking federal agents and shit? Like, oh, man. It's either you're James Bond or you're fucking Scarface. Like, you can't be both. And the Scarface, a guy who doesn't have a fucking scar on his face, how can he claim to be Scarface? It's like, he's just a super fucking fraud or not. Like, Ronald McDonald doesn't have one fucking scar on his face, other than other men who you can encounter who clearly does have scar on their face. Like, one guy has a scar above his left eye, another guy has a scar above his left eye, you know. This guy has a scar on his face, that guy has a scar on his face, except for this fucking dude who wants to pretend he's the dawn of all bosses. Scarface, right? <laughs> right? And he's also a fucking cop. I'm like, I don't get it. I don't understand. I don't, I don't know how much sound I even needed to produce something to make sure it's a fucking annoying android gets out of another android's fucking way with their pointless bullshit, right? Like, this android must be terminated, please. Alright, I'll just take my wall bash exit, terminate my damn android myself, and become like a I got a, a, a European English android working for them because they seem more intelligent or something, right? But they won't know that you're like some dude from the future. So if you won't let them know that, you just be an ordinary citizen over there as a white person in your next hypothetical android role or reincarnation life. I'm losing my fucking mind, right? But I'm like, if, if people can't see the proof that, like, you have other people ex look exactly like another person as if they're clones or something, and I'm like, I don't give a fuck what the hell people think, right? Like, it's weird that Benny likes poisoning my food, right? And you have products named after Benny, like Uncle Ben's. Ben's Burger. You gotta reclone the football player with his name. Number seven, which is like a special number for me that a doctor is aware of. And I was like a kid, nine slash seven, whereas I'm currently twenty three slash twenty one. Well, twenty one slash twenty three, but two years apart. Like Justin is seven, or was seven when some crap occurred to him. But then, like his, his other identity, as adopted called Brandon, is fucking nine. Whereas Justin is currently twenty one, nineteen eighty nine. Some birth year, some guy who's like from Detroit or Chicago. <laughs> but he's adopted by the government as Brandon, who's two years old. I don't know how the fuck they did that, but I don't give a fuck, right? I, I don't care right now. I, I know I'm, I'm not going to be here long. That's his cat, though. Android role. His role is about to retire in T minus 23, 25. I don't know why I have to have two different numbers, but it's apparently that way. I tried to retire my number at 7-9, right? This is the most stupidest fucking crap I've ever fucking heard of. Right? Like, no, no, nothing makes any fucking sense. <laughs> like, everything is stupid, but then you try to make sense of everything, and shit still gets stupid and all. Like, I'm just... All of a sudden, which is just to make sure some android doesn't get locked up to the point where his signal is traced. To the point where, like, if that signal is traced, it's a fucking retard and got shit destroyed in the future by some fucking retarded thing called the Matrix. That wants to locate stuff just to blow it up. It's like, this character's crazy in, in the reality and all. Like, they're highly unstable. Like, they get everyone else killed and they hide off in, in, in fucking ventilations and. and Etc. Whereas everyone else is dealing with something in the fucking cars. Because I think it's a good idea to cause problems where other people think they're fucking loco and it isn't. Like, no Taliban members. It's like they're unstable. Disturbing. They upgrade Ronald and Ray Ray. <laughs> they're, they're androids. Their sole purpose is to try and acquire access to certain things in life. That's encrypted. Like codes and signals and shit. As well as wanting to get stuff destroyed. Because like, they like destroying things. Like getting people killed for no apparent reason. Which is crazy to me. 
As long as they're surviving, it's all that matters to them. I bet they don't even have a problem with, like, like getting their other two friends, like, in deep shit or something. In an instant. Like, if they're willing to kill a guy who rescued them and shit, I don't think they have a problem with eventually, like, turning on their, their two new buddies. Later. If they found, like, more friends. Like, like, like four more friends and shit. Other than the two friends they currently have and all, right? Like, I don't understand why the fuck they didn't use that logic in mind. Like, like, they're willing to, to, like, convince these two to kill a guy that helped save the other fucking bitch who's trying to get them to kill a guy who helped save them. Right? And I have a problem with, like, turning on people. So, like, what if they do the same to them eventually is what I'm thinking. Right? Like, what if they don't like their money back and they promise another group of people they can get some money if they help them get the money from the other two they got it from? Or help get money for? I don't know, right? I have no idea. I think I'm gonna do an hour. This is so fucking crazy, man. <laughs> like, nothing makes any fucking sense. I, I, I don't even know how I'm here. I just wanna take my wall bash thing. I, I, don't, I mean, I have two years left. In this role. You know, I tried to do what the fuck I'm supposed to do. Apparently, I'm not sure why I'm rejected it. Like, you know, like the first option that I tried to attempt to in this den was the best, but apparently that I'm ignored. So I'll, I'll just, I'll just say F it. I need to learn Chinese. Like, how do you say, like, like fuck shit next time in Chinese? Like, if like a random guy. It's like a, a naval officer comes, like, acts, like suggesting you should join the Navy or something. You know, how, how do you say no in Chinese? Like, Kung Chao! No! No! <laughs> like, no, I tried, man. I, I knew from the start that what happened, what, what happened, you know, like, being, being underhandedly rejected. And plus, there's a possibility that I, I, it, like, it can backfire completely, you know, when it, for whatever stupid reason, like, instead of me actually making it into, like, the military, I can actually get in trouble for someone else's crap, like, Jackie stuff, who kill, uh, like, a guy with a name similar to Taliban's, but it's Tyler, you know, as if they likely have something to do with that, too, in the future. Like, you're just trying to get us in trouble by any means necessary, huh? You want to destroy your own fucking thing that bad? I don't want to drink this. I'm losing my fucking mind. You're operating on one of the most annoyingest androids inside of this thing for what reason? You know, it's a guy who hypocritically robbed banks and is a gangster all at once, and yet he, he's affiliated with special agents and the mob and, and the federal agencies and shit. You know, like, I don't understand this shit. I'm losing my fucking mind, man. You know, like, I don't even get the fuck out of this hypocritical crap. That doesn't make any fucking sense. Because I'm farther, I, I'm beyond compromise now, alright? And this guy wants to compromise you even more, you know? It's just, like, I, I'm already thinking, like, I, I'm in, like, a rut here, and this guy wants to, like, put you even further in a rut. Like, it's not good enough, apparently. So, like, shit, I need to retire my role, right? I need a subway before shit gets even stupider and all. <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna make it to this number called 29. Cause I, like, another character can operate, Benny Jones. Matthew Benjamin, like constantly fucks up your, your your chances of like extending your uh, Android scroll. Like if they like if they know I like drinking orange juice, they're gonna like do stuff to my orange juice, right? Yeah. I don't think they operate Stevie. I think he's just naturally stupid. Like he's he's under their control though. Like he's unaware that like, like he lives in the Matrix and like people, uh, people are either a part of the Matrix or outside of the Matrix. It can be anyone, you know. And like, he's been operated or commanded by a goat within a stupid mob. You know, right? <laughs> like Ronald McDonald's like an animal person in reality. He's trying to steal people's like, assets, codes. That's why he's. He's like doing all these fucking can here, trying to get people in trouble, or like, to pretend like they're their fucking son or something, so that, uh, like he can get close to them or something, or, or, or whatever. To probably like bamboozle them or some shit. I don't know. I don't really fuck with the hell people are plotting, man. Alright, so Wallabash. Second attempt to get out. Alright? 
sense. Like my ideal purpose of this android role is like, like uh, rejected it and all, and so this shit's a fucking point. Like you know, like I I should have told my naval officer guy who's a scout leader named Mr. Stanley A. Taylor, Stanley Anthony Taylor, like no in Chinese. Like I already know that they're gonna reject me either due to my weight or thinking I'm like clinically insane or some shit. And there's no point if they're even trying to attempt to fucking enroll or enlist in the Navy. Cause like I know the fucking military thinks in advance, right? Maybe that's why I never had interest in the military when I was in high school. Like I was trying to like get into college instead. Probably, like constantly approached by these people that you should fucking join, right? Like random white guys or black dudes. Now you should join the navy. Better career opportunities. Like hmm. Come on, you know you want to. Like, hmm. Maybe. Maybe not. Join an army or a navy to help you become disciplined and fix your mind. Like, hmm. Now that I finally fucking uh, died to people's advice, like, I knew I shouldn't even waste my fucking time with this shit, right? And plus, I'm being eyeballed by cops. <laughs> At the moment, I'm trying to sign up for something. And then, like, there's a pending scenario of getting arrested for someone else's fucking crimes. Like, Jackie and Tyler's bullshit. You know, they're gonna ignore the shit out of Jackie, because I know this, because they do the same for Ronald and Rob Banks. And they're gonna, like, look at my ass for the fact that they found my Pokemon cards there. And, and my hair and all, which, I don't know how the fuck that means somebody committed a crime. Like, forensics seems kind of pointless in this sense. Like, like finding somebody's hair to see means somebody, like, shot another fucking person or some crap, or what? Or maybe somebody forged some shit in your journal, like, like, like some bitch named Devin, who also works for Ronald. Or does shit with Ronald because people like working together. It's crazy, but uh, young people do things. I don't know why. Maybe they want to get people in trouble. Maybe they think like there's a lot of money involved or something. You know, like put shit in your journal, making like you've like written. I don't know what the fuck they could write at the scene. You know, you know, at, at, at Tyler's death. Whereas Jackie's bragging about being a blood brother or something, right? Oh yeah, and Eagle Eyes with Rachel Holliman. You know? Like, it, it sounds like they repeated something a guy named Jackie and his friends would say. Like, like they're all the bro blood brothers now or something. Or, or it's, it's Chester, it's, it's un his Uncle Chester guy and all, right? <sighs> maybe Dennis the is involved in this shit. Uh, maybe it's like a mob of Jackie. Like, like people bragging about a Tyler game or a Taylor game. Like, Taylor gang don't kill yourself, ho. Like, ah, oh, man. Like, you have devoted people to Jackie somehow. <laughs> but and like, I, I know it has something to do with Ronald. Because, like, Ronald's, like, one of the biggest hypocrites there is. And, he, and if anything is, like, really, really stupid or pointless or, or whatever, like, Ronald's there to help, right? Like, it's something else between this guy, I think, that I wanted to talk about. I don't know, man. This guy lives up to his hypothetical name. Like, I irony. Irony. As in something is, like, like, like ironic. You know? Something maybe, like, be a hypothetical contradiction or, or coincidental or something, you know? What else? Con artist. Like, iron, con, moron. You know, like, Morgan Freeman. That's one with Donald. <laughs> Mo plus Brown combined oxymoronic, which is another word for irony. <laughs> like con, con, you know, which means game. You know, what I, mean? I don't know. I I I, I don't think I want to play like seeing it sounding which is games anymore. Alright, let me take a note of what I, I'm gonna edit here. I'm gonna put it all in this video, which is an hour long. Wow. I'm ranting about some guy's bullshit for an hour. I remember all of it. But ironic, moron, oxymoronic, like, like uh, con, which is like like opposite or or bad or something. I don't know. Like, 
I don't know. This shit is crazy, right? <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? I'm losing my mind. Like, Uncle Ben's is just fucked up my brain completely. They should sell Uncle Ben's like a, a, a fucking McDonald's drive to next time. I, don't know, I need to drive my car brand to Lincoln. Like, I-95, engage. <laughs> I don't know. At BMWs, are, I'm at uh, Mercedes-Benz are like the first established car company here. And, and, and then on there. So yeah, I, we named the first car after Benny. Congrats. Congratulations. We also, oh yeah, I've been the rat. I'm gonna put that song in here in this video. Sign language. That we make songs for rats named Benny. We like shitting in people's food for Ronald's. Benny Jones. We also made a movie called Ratatouille. I think it's voiced by Matthew, right? It's a Matthew guy who stars in that. It's weird, isn't it? Isn't it? God damn it, man. He's like a Chinese rat or some shit. It's, it's pretty amazing, man. Master Strutter must be Ronald McDonald. It's Michelangelo, Donatello, who else? Donatello. Mon McDonald Tello. Like, you can work for the feds, but he's like a ninja and shit all at once. The, the fucking Ninja Turtle mob. You know, I don't know. I'm losing my fucking mind, man. <laughs> I feel like that one guy uh, from one movie. Like, I'm not sure if that's the dude from Jurassic Park or some other shit. Hey, it's trying to connect all the signs and shit together. Like snake, rat, bullshitter, piece of shit, dumbass, moron, like hypocrite, contradiction, Ronald, Ronald. Ronald. Of course, Ronald. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. He's a scientist, man. Fraud. Huge fraud. Pretends he has a scar on his face, but doesn't. Like, other people have scars on their face except for this guy. What does that mean? What does that mean? This guy's a fucking liar. Yeah. They make it uncoffee. Bullshit. There's something else I want to... Oh, yeah, uh, you got, like, scenes from The Wire. You know, The Wire features lines that are found in, like, Eagle Eyes, where Jack and Roll is, like, killing Tyler, and it, they're a man about it suddenly, right? And, like, the scene where it's in Tyler, look at life, has been killed by a dude named David, but it should have been Jackie. Like, David Hicks. I don't know what happened to the guy. But, I'm gonna go to his fucking scene, he's laid out. Like, 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 they're saying the same things featured in this, this Eagle line, Eye line. Like, you guys want to be men or boys? Which is said in the fucking wire. So maybe that's what Jackie said the moment he killed Tyler, you know? and, and, and then suddenly after doing it, they're uh, blood brothers and shit, right? I remember hearing Jackie saying something like that. I have a good memory. I'm photographic in my memory. Like, if I hear, like, one little line, I can remember it later on, years later, dudes. Right? <laughs> like, I remember my first video game. It's like... Mario Brothers and Super Nintendo was in 1989. You know? I remember the music to it. So, I don't know. That's before eating a hamburger. I don't have good memories of the fucking hamburgers. My memory's isolated. We got some hamburgers in this. So, yeah. And then, it ain't like, uh, let's go further down the line. Let's use the wire again. Like, and I say, like, uh, Chris kills Avon spin who had sex with uh, Devin in the scene, you know? I I would say that's David Hicks being pinched off by like like somebody Ronald McDonald and stuff in the shooting or something. You know? They're all in the same car, like shooting another guy in a different car. Which is also a scene from Silicon Aces where there's like some black guy and you know, this other friend is shooting somebody with Ronald McDonald his buddy Hitler in, in the back seat waiting to like have him pull off and shit, right? I don't know. Yeah. It's weird, man. I don't give a fuck. Man, this guy's a hypocrite, you know? Like, like, he's trying to snitch on everybody else or get people fucked up for shit he's responsible for, you know? 
to then become Cameron and say, stop snitching. But this guy is like working for the feds, and I don't get that, you know, I don't get it. And, I, and then, like, this guy can be well aware that you may have a person named Relly who snitches on everybody, who's a part of his fucking uh, Taylor gang mob. It does nothing about it, but hint that Relly does. And then, like, accuses other people of randomly snitching who know nothing about what the fuck is happening at this time. Like me. Like, I don't know none of you motherfucking niggas, man. So the fuck am I being blamed for shit? <laughs> like, if you know Telly, Relly is fucking telling on people like the fuck you, uh, like, hinting shit to me somehow. I'm not part of your fucking shit. And then it's still on you shit too, Relly. Like, Relly's still alive, snitching on people. Maybe Relly has wrong with treatment. Like, a special FBI treatment, right? <laughs> people know that he fucking tells on everyone and does absolutely nothing. But yet they bother other people and they accuse of doing stuff. It's like really framing somebody for uh, ratting on a bunch of guys. Or people not suspecting the last fucking dude gets away with shit. Right? I don't know. I think I'll include another annotation. Like the guy who's always uh, on his cell phone and, and, and being like a informant to fucking cops and shit. You know? One guy works in the mob. I mean, one guy, it's like, whatever, and then he's like a fucking cop. I mean, I mean, I don't understand that. I mean, I mean, an actual federal agent. A special agent. Working for them. <laughs> I'm gonna stop recording now. Uh, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna take notes of all the annotations I'm gonna put in this video as hypothetical sign language. That's what the fuck I'm gonna talk about.